Hey, this is Anthony Thrabs on TV. You can watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Revit Cyber GTX glove available at Revzilla.com. This is the new Cyber, part of the new glove collection from Revit for three season cold weather riding. They've revamped the whole lineup. This is Bad Boy that's gonna come in around $200. And again, it's using a lot of the upgraded features. It's Gore-Tex, it's waterproof breathable, it's using the upgraded Primaloft material, which means it's synthetic at the highest end. The insulative properties are going to keep you cool, or keep you warm rather, keep you dry and keep you comfortable. But really where it stacks up in the range, is think of it as a little bit less protective or a little bit less bomb-proof version of the Taurus GTX. Now, the Taurus is the top end at $200 and around $50, around $250. And you're going to get the hard shell knuckle and a lot of these bomb-proof accoutrements. When you get into the Cyber, you lose the hard shell knuckle, but you get the Seasoft knuckle, a little bit, low, little bit more low profile. You stay with the Primaloft. It's the Primaloft Gold and the Primaloft Gold Eco Plus Grip in the palm area, and you keep some of the slider materials. But there are a few other gloves in this range around this price. You see the Borealis GTX, which would be more of a Gore Extra Fit. They call it Gore Plus grip now that lightens up on the insulation. You use that if you want a similar glove, but you have heated grips. And really, in my opinion, where this guy is coming to the line and replacing is going to be the Revit Fusion, which in the past did not have the Primaloft. It also doesn't have some of the new creature comforts like the new set it and forget it cuff. If we see that here, again, it's a self-cinching cuff that you're seeing on the new high-end gloves from Revit. So think about this. Three season Gore-Tex, fall, winter, spring, hardcore protection, hardcore from a warmth standpoint, but again, leaving some of the bomb-proof adventure features off by way of saving some of the cost and getting you closer to that $200 mark. Now, quick note on fitment. You can see, we talked about Primaloft. It's gonna be thin, but really warm and allows you to get a great amount of feel. This glove does not have the tactile response that we'd see from something like the Borealis, which is really that gore grip, but it is Primaloft Eco Gold Grip, which allows the Primaloft to be bonded to the outer shell. You also have your waterproof breathable Gore-Tex membrane, again, that's baked in. So you have a multitude of layers. You have to sacrifice some of the grip and feel for some of the protection there. But again, it's more of an American cut. I'm wearing a size large. I wear a large in First Gear. I wear a large in Icon. I wear a large in Revit these days. Nice boxy finger. Even if I had much thicker fingers, I'd be just fine. Slight pre-curve to it. Use the size chart. No longer fits what I would call European. It definitely fits American. For frame of reference, I'm an extra large in both Alpine Stars and Dionese, and I run a consistent large these days in Revit. Now remember, if you're concerned about fit, we'll ship for free over 39 bucks. And as always, I'd love it if you click our logo, subscribe to us at Revzilla TV, leave us your comments, your questions, your feedback on the new Cyber GTX. Now, if we move into some of the other nuances, you're gonna see reflective on the backside of this gauntlet. That's a full gauntlet going all the way up. Your Gore-Tex goes all the way up. That reflective is gonna allow you to be seen better at night and illustrate the humanoid form, allowing people to react to you much quicker. Moving up, you're seeing that they're using this PowerShell strip twill stretch material. It's micro ripstop. It's going to come together. And again, it's a basic textile. It's not as bomb proof as some of the stuff we see at the higher end, but again, it has a high denier to it. Moving to the knuckle. This is another big upgrade you see over something like the Fusion, which is a little bit less expensive. This has the new Seasoft knuckle from Trionic. Again, it moves with you, but it gives you a great amount of shock absorption. Moving to the fingers, I like what they've done here with this raised TPU material. Again, giving you more protection across the fingers because they've gone with a more textile approach versus some of the leather that you'd see on the Borealis or you'd see on the Taurus GTX. Looking at the fingers, again, you do have the leather that wraps up and around. That's gonna be goat skin. It's goat skin throughout. And as I rotate it over, there's a reason they're using goat. It's as abrasion resistant as cowhide. It creates great tactile response and feel, but goat holds up better in the longer term when it gets wet. So again, no sacrifices there, they're actually improving it. If we look at it, reinforcement at the palm of the hand, reinforcement at the fingers, and you see that little dot, that's the Revit Connect finger. I like that they gave you that, that's the multi-touch device finger for iPhone or Android devices. You don't have it when you step up to the Borealis, but you do have it on the Taurus. There's also another glove in the line you should be really looking at if you're investing around the $200 mark. Check out the Aquila. It's Hydrotex, which is their H2O membrane, waterproof breathable, not as nice from a breathability standpoint as Gore-Tex, but it does have the hard shell protection. So if you wanna be under 200 bucks with some of the insulation and the hard shell, check out the, the Aquila. Now, moving into the palm, like what they've done here, 
dual comp honeycomb slider, Seasoft back, again, abrasion resistant, shock absorption, sliding, you have it all baked in there. I've crashed on these guys, they work really well. And then if we look at the thumb here, you're gonna notice the snot patch slash visor wiper baked into the thumb, final production version is gonna move it to the inside of the hand here in a more accessible spot. They took that feedback and they ran with it. Now we talked about it briefly in the beginning of the video, but on the new higher end Revit gloves, you're using this new self-adjusting cuff, which I actually dig, it's polarizing. I'm interested in to hear what you think about it. But again, when you open it up, you're gonna open it like that, but then if you're using the other hand as gloved and you have your glove already on, you're pulling it up over the cuff of your jacket, you have the ability to cinch it and set it down. Watch what I just did there. I pulled it, it's open, that's me opening it up, and then to close it and tighten it, I cinch it and set it down. It's really nice. The final version is gonna be a little bit more smoothed out with a different texture to the cinch, but again, it works well. It is going to be, in my opinion, one of the nice leaps forward that we're seeing from Revit as they continue to up their game, not just in materials, but also in functionality. Remember, the cyber is going to be your three season cold weather glove using Gore Tex, using the Primal Loft baked in. There's actually two types of material touching your hand. You're going to have a lighter weight fleece on the palm and then a heavier duty high loft monkey fur that's across the back of the hand to aid in wind block. So, again, they're doing that to give you the depth of winter. And remember, if you have heated grips, go with the Borealis. If you want hard shell protection, check out something like the Taurus GTX. The next step in your journey though is to click the info button, visit revzilla.com and read other rider reviews of the Cyber GTX. You should not just take my word for it. This is a technical piece. See what experience other riders are having with it. As always, we're going to ship for free over 39 bucks. If you want to talk to a gear geek, see us at revzilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown. Remember, subscribe to us on the YouTubes. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.